the word of the Lord tells us that the people of God were standing on the edge of, on the, edge of the Red Sea and they were ready to cross over into everything that God had promised them everything God said they would have and you may be feeling like that right now you're right on the edge and you're about to cross over you're about to make a cross that is going to change every part of your life it's going to change everything you've been waiting for it's going to change everything you've been believing God for it's going to change your your direction it's going to change your finances it's going to change everything for you and you can imagine that as the people stood at the edge of this water the only thing that was between them and the promise was this body of water and maybe you say the only thing that's standing between me and this bo- and this promise is my education the only thing standing between me and a promise is my health the only thing standing between me and the promise is my is this disease or sickness that is attacking my body is my lack of money the only thing standing between me and this promise is my my confusion and me feeling like I'm losing my mind the anxiety in my life and the people are standing at the edge of the Red Sea now if someone would have come to the people of God and said the Red Sea is about to open they may not have believed it they may not have believed of what God was about to do And there's parts of you that maybe is feeling like, I don't know if God's going to do that. It's a big miracle. It's a big breakthrough. It's something that's big. It almost seems impossible. But I love that my God works in the impossible. I love how my God works in those situations that look like there's no way. I love the way my God works in those diseases and sicknesses that have no cure. Come on, Melina. I love how God works in the moments when I have nothing, but he is everything. Come on, David. I love how my God works in those moments. And the Bible says that as they stood at the edge of the Red Sea, that Moses took his staff and he put it in the water. Come on. And the waters opened up in their favor and the waters began to roll back. And the people of God began to walk on dry land. Maybe somebody told them, you're about to see something you've never seen. You're about to experience something you've never experienced. You're about to have an encounter that you've never encountered before. Maybe someone had told them, but it was hard to believe. And maybe right now you're saying it's hard to believe. I know what you're saying, Sister Marissa. I know that you're saying, I'm about to see something I've never seen. I'm about to go through something I've never experienced. I'm about to witness a miracle like I've never known. But I'm here to let you know tonight that you're getting ready to see something big. You're getting ready to see something big. Come on. You're getting ready to see something big. If you're going through a big trial, you're about to have a big victory. You're going through a big situation. You're about to have a big breakthrough. You're going through a big sickness. You're about to have a big healing. Come on, somebody. And the people of God began to witness that God opened the waters in their favor. And you're about to witness God open the waters in your favor. Whatever is standing between you and your promise, God says, I am about to do something big. It has already begun. Do you not see it? Dios dice en esta noche, algo nuevo está para suceder. Thank you, Jesus. Ya ha comenzado. No lo puedes ver. Come on, right there where you are. Just believe for it. Believe for it. Because it's coming. Lord, I pray that we would receive every promise that you have spoken. Everything you said that we would have, Lord. 
and maybe you're saying, but it's felt so delayed. It feels like it's taking such a long time. It feels like I've waited for so long. It feels like it's never gonna happen, not for me. The Lord is saying right now, I am doing something new. I am doing something new. It has already begun. It has already begun. Can you not perceive it? I pray that the Spirit of God right now would find you right there where you are and you would begin to feel His presence manifest right there in your home. You would begin to feel His presence manifest right there in your living room. Right there where you are. Begin to perceive what God is doing. Begin to perceive the breakthrough that is taking place in your life. The, <coughs> the Bible says they walked on dry land to the promise that they had been hearing about for so long. It's not too late for you. It's not too late for you. God's going to come through. He wants you to know right now it's not too late. I'm doing something new. I'm doing something new. It has already begun. Yes. Come on. It's not too late for you. It's gonna come through. so much about what you're going through what you're feeling and maybe no, nobody else knows nobody else knows the moments that you've spent asking God calling to him crying to him and you just needed to know that it's not too late you just needed to know 
that there's still a hope. And he says, I'm starting something new. It has begun. Can you not perceive it? So right there, I just pray strength. I pray peace over your life. Thank you, you would hold on to hope. You would hold on to the faith, knowing that God is still God, that he still moves mountains, that he still opens seas, and he's still doing something big in your life. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not over. See, the thing is, is we get bad news. Sometimes people tell us there's nothing more we can do, and we accept it and we receive it. And then we just allow ourselves to continue to live in that hopelessness. But I love that my God has the last word. So even though you may have received bad news this week, I encourage you to say, not for me. My God is a God of promise. My God is a God of healing. And I'm standing on his word that something new is happening and that is already beginning even now. Be encouraged, be strengthened. God is doing something big and something new right now. It's not too late. It's not too late. It isn't over for you. Hey. It's not too late. It's not too late. He's gonna come through for you. receive it for our house, we receive it for our church, and we receive it for our ministry. Yes, Lord. Thank you for reminding us, God, that it's not too late. Thank you for telling us tonight that it ain't over. Thank you, Lord, for telling me tonight 
But it's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. There's a miracle with your name on it. show you that it's not too late and that he is truly doing something new in you even right now get ready for what's about to come get ready for what you're about to see get ready for everything you're about to receive because something new is happening it has already begun can you not perceive it speaking the Lord tonight he loves you so much. Be blessed, be encouraged, be strengthened. We love you and have a blessed night. <laughs>